I am with you always, until the end of time. Matthew 28, 20 I am the hope of all the ends of the earth. But so few truly know it deep in their hearts. In me lies the fulfillment of the complex desires and possibilities of human nature. You know that all the qualities you see in me are available for you. Are you sad, my child, that so often you fail to make use of them? Yes, this is the world's feeling, that men do not appropriate that which is there for them, in me. Set me before you always as your one true hope. Be sure that your hand is firmly in mine. Proclaim me as mankind's hope to those around you. As you recognize the progress you make with me, so the conviction will grow which you bring to telling others all that I can be to them. I know that in your heart is that longing to know me more perfectly. I honor that longing, and that is why you are sure of my patience in all your failures. It is, of course, my grace which helps you to maintain that longing and to come, increasingly, into oneness with myself. I will never turn away anyone who comes to me. John 6.37 Long before my love was seen on earth it was expressed in creativity. Although seen as creativity of power or of mystery, it is a creativity of love. A continuing creativity. Existence, as you see it, is puzzling and often frightening. But let it thrill you that the Father was seen in his creation, becoming one with it, surrendering himself to it. That moment in history when I stood as the meeting place of divine love and human hopes and fears was the beginning of all true spiritual awareness. You will be aware of much darkness and of forces dedicated to obstructing your climb towards the heavenly sphere. Any other view of my creation would be naive and partial. Nevertheless, you must resolutely see love as the soul of creation, now, as it always was. Love and creativity means that I am never remote from the inevitable heartaches of my children, or, of course, from your heartaches. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father, John 14, 9 My child, let it be your privilege, each day, to dwell upon my sacrifice, made for the whole world. In my suffering love upon the cross you see a continuing process, the unrequited love which pursues my children, yearning for the slightest response, and profoundly grateful when one of those children surrenders his or her life to me. On the cross, you see my heart of love crushed, for the moment, by the force of evil which darkens this universe. Then you see the bursting forth again of love's power, in my Father's victory, this power, in its submission, and its patience, can change, permanently, any human situation. Although you are conscious of being unworthy of that love, be sure that the pain of rejection is made so much less by even the simplest, imperfect dependence upon myself. Here, at the cross, give me your heart, and you, every day. For the sake of my sheep, I surrender my life. John 10:15. How much it means to me when one of my children, responding to a prompting of my spirit, asks to live close to me. The response to that request is automatic. Forces to draw closer our spirits are then at work, in spite of the tangled emotions and contra-influences of earth. As soon as that hesitant request is made, I am able to look upon my child as perfected. 
everything is built upon the child's request. I see beyond the intermittent progress, the spiritual weariness, and the times when the child fails me. I need no more than the initial response and the continuance of that wish to be close to me for my existence increasingly to interpenetrate yours. My child, can you still recognize that deep desire for closeness to me in your heart? Even after many discouragements in your spiritual walk? If so, let it remind you of the perfection which is your destiny. Drawn by me, with bonds of love. Hosea 11, 4 My child, the bond between us is unbreakable, because you are my chosen. The company you keep is with the architect of this universe in his infinite wisdom. My presence surrounds you, and my influence, in your unique circumstances. Without me, you would have been in the gravest danger. Because you are precious to me, your need near to my heart, I save you from what is contrary to your best interests, diverting harmful influences. No combination of circumstances can defeat me. Therefore, do not be afraid of Earth's chances, nor of the very worst that evil can do. Not afraid, because I can always restore and return you to the path of my will. All that you need to dwell upon is that my care of you stretches into eternity. No one can take my children out of my hand. John 10 28 Even those who acknowledge me carry burdens because they cannot believe that my forgiveness is infinite. They cannot believe that there is cleansing of the deep guilt flowing from willful acts which had tragic consequences for others. They cannot believe that, even with true sorrow over those things, my mercy can extend to them. My child, you know that the only condition for my overflowing love and mercy is your heartfelt sorrow, and always sorrow that the wrong act should have hurt myself. My forgiveness is instantaneous. You are made clean in my sight, worthy of my most tender care. Attendant evil influences are swept away. My child, that same love will now help you to forgive, from your heart, all who have hurt you. This is my law, and must be obeyed. Release them into my love. To convey the peace of forgiveness concerning any sin is why I gave myself. I wish my children to be drawn back to me with the pain of guilt removed, even if memory cannot be erased completely. I am the Lord your God. Merciful, gracious, and infinitely patient. Exodus 34, 6 it would be wrong to pretend that maintaining faith in me will always be easy. There is the greatest temptation to see Earth's calamities and misfortunes as pointing to a universe without soul. Whenever you are forced to conclude, even momentarily, that you are alone in a materialistic creation, then evil has secured what is always its greatest ambition. The one crucial division in this world is not between fortune and misfortune, but between life based on me and shared with me, and life divorced from me, leading to oblivion. When events seem to point away from me and lead you into doubt, that is the very moment to summon all your strength and to tell me that, in spite of all, I am with you and can never fail you. You cannot know the power of such a trusting word spoken to me in circumstances which cause you to doubt. Whoever believes in me will live. John 11 25 My child, because I indwell you by my spirit, I experience in the closest possible way your conflicts, your longings, all which can cause you distress. 
because I have traveled your road, there is, within the Godhead, infinite, tender appreciation of what you endure upon earth. Because you have responded to my call, however imperfectly, I have made you my concern when I see you in great need. My love and compassion are made most real to you. Each heartache, each struggle can be made to awaken the sense of need of me, to deepen trust, to teach new truths. It is only because I can see the ultimate blessing to you of pain shared with me, that I can accept, though never unmoved by them, your earthly struggles. Recognize love's transforming work in earth's darkness. See experiences of darkness melt under my hand into experiences within my love of security and of hope. I am making everything new. Revelation 21.5 My child, your time spent in my company impresses upon you deeper than mere intellectual assent, that you owe everything to me. Yes, I brought you into being, foreseeing that event. My hand was upon your life long before your thoughts turned to myself. You owe to me your very existence now, in a world which, without my victory, would have been lost. Recognize in your care in the hands of loved ones and the kindness of friends, my prompting and my provision. See me as the origin of everything with which your life has been blessed. The sense of gratitude to me is missing from the lives of so many. You have the tremendous privilege of being among those who can make glad my heart by your recognition of your debt to me. You could never of course, repay the debt. All I ask is your thankful heart towards your Saviour and your Protector. I have called you by name, you are mine. Isaiah 43 1 True knowledge of me comes when I am valued. To place me above everything else in your life is indispensable to your growth causing you to thrill at the thought of me and to desire closer and closer communion with me. When you arrive at the blessed state of my being all in all to you, you also realize that this has not made any less precious those whom you love on earth. On the contrary, my place of supremacy in your life encircles those other ties and means that the influence of heaven is in your relationships making them pleasing to me. Even at times of disappointment, let there be that steady resolve that I should maintain first place. This will draw everything into a beautiful harmony, as life loses its conflicts and its vain striving. My child, enthrone me in that highest place now, and rely on me to ensure that everything flowing from this is unerringly right. I came so that you may have life, abundantly. John 10.10 10. Trust is so often formed by difficulties and setbacks, a trust which remains, even when my way does not bring me, results, which have been sought, when that way is hard to understand. Blind trusting, when no obvious advantage is gained is the real trust which I require, and which I always honour. Follow the way of trust in every area, every conceivable situation upon earth, each relationship, each encounter, each problem. Yes, complete confidence in me, expressed in joy, thankfulness, and in recognition of my touch in seeming coincidences and unplanned encounters. My plans for your honouring and will triumph, as you trust the voice within which assures you, in spite of observed circumstances, that I cannot fail a trusting child. Give me, often, 
the glance of utter trusting love. In quietness and in confidence will be your strength. Isaiah 30 15 My child, let my peace enfold you, not looking at yourself, but at me. Consciously and frequently rest your spirit in the peace. It brings true healing and is all that you need. Eagerly desire my peace for its uniqueness. Know that it neutralizes long-standing hurts. Unless my peace works upon deep wounds, you are at the mercy of so much from the past. It's been revived. Firmly refuse unloving ways, wrong ways, which would temporarily destroy my peace in you. Refuse them in my strength. Do not analyze whether you have my peace. Just know that it is there, as you are careful to tread my way, and it will pass from you to my other children. My name, the name of Jesus, brings peace. Say it to me, in love. Say it to yourself, to comfort your heart, unfailingly. Do not let your heart be troubled or afraid. John 14, 27 The true goal of your companionship with me is finding the reality of the things of the Spirit. Sadly, many still see worldly things as having more substance than their spiritual origins. In taking me into your life, you are acknowledging that the unseen is of supreme importance. No human encounter or experience must ever be divorced from the abiding reality against which it is set. The sharpness of this world's disappointments is removed, even though one's heart may be breaking when their impermanence is compared with the fact of myself. Realizing the unseen gives a sense of proportion to the experiences which temporarily elate or crush the human soul. To see my kingdom as the reality of this existence, and every other manifestation as transient, wonderfully gives courage and steadiness in the dark places. Life's passing phenomena are transformed by the reality lying behind them. Find in the world's experiences a spiritual gain, kept secure for you in the realm of my love. My kingdom is not of this world. John 18.36 My child, the sense of isolation experienced in trying to tread my way is a stage which I see as necessary for you. There is the temptation to feel that too much is being given up. To feel, even, that you have been mistaken about the rewards of the spiritual life. You have my promise that the stage of feeling isolated perhaps discouraged, is a very positive one in your growth. You will find that nothing, harmless in itself, which seemed to be coming between us, and which you have surrendered, will ever be the subject of regret. What I give to you is of infinitely more worth than Earth's riches. In what the world may see as isolation, you find companionship at the deepest level a sense of being lifted through uncharted areas of difficulty. Affirm very strongly when tempted to feel discouraged, that I belong to you, aware of being provided for in the fullest possible sense. I will go with you and prosper all that you do. Exodus 33:14. Call upon me when any hurtful or overwhelming situation arises. Firstly, so that you may learn the lesson I have for you in it. Secondly, so that I may break the pattern of events before it becomes too burdensome for you. You know that I am more than equal to the things which may threaten you or make you anxious. They remain, by my permission, for as long as they can further my plans for you and for others. For my loved ones, I make every trial fit into my pattern and to serve a good purpose. 
you know that they are not really trials if I share them and then conquer them with you. I have used life's experiences to teach you, to sanctify you, to give you victories. None are more aware of life's pain than those who seek my way, yet my peace and joy are found upon that way. And my presence, the priceless gift which is to be sought above all else. As you pray about everything, you will increasingly be able simply to watch the answers to those prayers come. In the world you will have trouble and sorrow but rejoice. I have conquered the world. John 16:33. Those who have not experienced what I can be to them, can subtly take away my supremacy. These include some who claim to carry my name in this world. My child, your confidence in me will be undermined when I am, to you, anything less than. The source of all love, the source of all made things. The source of all power, interpreted for this world's needs. To place your life into my hands is to receive all the resources of the Godhead, resources focused in myself upon earth so that my children would be drawn to me as the fullest expression of the Father's love. Let your spirit be gloriously uplifted many times each day by realizing my almighty and never-ending responsibility for you. I and the Father are one. John 10.30 The almost instinctive speaking of my name when life is dark and uncertain, the cry of a child for the one who can draw close, the cry of a child when reasoning ceases to function, when all is threatening, when human help is absent, when confidence is lost. The speaking of my name brings into the foreground of your situation the one vital factor. My name can be said in helplessness, but said in joy and thankfulness only seconds later. Thankfulness at being brought through that state of helplessness. The speaking of my name ensures, immediately, the retreat of evil forces, acknowledging that they are defeated in their aim for your life. My child, the whispering of my name, on waking, on surrendering to sleep, and very frequently during each day. I will be with you when you go through deep waters. Isaiah 43 2 there will be times when you will not see the immediate way ahead. You may be filled with panic, wanting to avoid what could be a disastrous step. Remember that you do not always need to see the road ahead. It is sufficient, for the moment, to see me. When the time is right for a choice to be made, you will know and I will assist you through it. Until the time be sure that merely keeping close to me guarantees you're moving in the right direction, despite questions and doubts raging in your mind. When you cannot see clearly the next step, there is a good reason for my withholding that awareness. It becomes a time of trust. Trust. Very often. That I will simply cause my wish for you to happen. Do not feel the awful responsibility of choosing your path when that is not necessary for the moment. Just hide in myself and know that you will soon see clearly. Until then, you are precisely where I want you to be. Your Father knows what you need. Matthew 6, 8 My child, a radical change is made in your life when you focus, clearly, up on one principal aim, to run through all your personal ambitions, all your relationships. The aim which will integrate your personality is a simple one, that in some way you will extend my kingdom of love, even in situations which seem to contain formidable barriers against this happening. Begin by deliberately bringing this aim to me, for my blessing even if you have made promises of this kind previously. 
I will have your aim before me. I will honour the team, not only on occasions when you yourself remember it, but when you are temporarily distracted from remembering it. Each encounter with another person is under the influence of my kingdom to push back a little further those forces which darken this world. Thank me each day that you are used to establish my rule of love. Fix your mind on God's kingdom and his justice above all else. Matthew 6, 33 Never admit that a particular area of your life is a defeated one. Because you failed, perhaps many times, in a certain situation, this does not mean that you must be resigned to defeat. It does not mean that victory was not very close. My child, you will experience the joy of resolutely uniting yourself with me and meeting difficult places victoriously. No environment, no set of circumstances need prove impossible for you if you believe that my victory with you extends to every area. I look for the readiness, completely trusting me, to enter once more those scenes of crushing defeat, and this time to prove that on all previous occasions you could have been a victorious person. Any area of compromise, or of resignation to defeat, weakens the whole. See how many areas of your life have become, already, the scene of new reactions, new gains. Let this encourage you about the victory which can be yours in each remaining problem area. With God, all things are possible. Mark 10, 27 See communion with myself as your highest activity. There are no places on earth where this activity is impossible. It is no mere escapism, no flight from reality to give time to the interaction of our spirits. It gives my heart the joy which compensates for a world following so many illusions. Your time with me is one of trust. Trust in my answering of your prayers, of giving me room in which to work, of letting me help you to profit from the lessons of current circumstances. Temptations to restrict the activity of communion with me are often disguised as pressing duty, and often involve misuse of time which will contribute nothing to your progress. My child, treasure time spent, consciously, with me, as I supply need for the hours ahead. Such communion, far from mere escaping, is dynamic in its essence, and is indispensable for you. You were not meant to live without my resources. Only one thing is vital. Luke 10, 42 As a very necessary discipline, give to me every set of circumstances with which you feel unable to deal. The pressure upon you to respond to those circumstances may be great, but you must make time, even if only moments in which to give the situation, with its uncertainty, its complexity or its fair capacity to myself. The simple, almost mechanical, giving to me ensures the divine activity. The most fleeting moment spent giving a situation into my hands is repaid many times over by the moulding of events under my power and wisdom. Always react, firstly, by giving difficult or distressing circumstances to me, then patiently watch my oversight and my intervention in their development. What is urgent and necessary, involving your action, I will always show you. But your walk with me must always be one of calm and patience, based on my sufficiency. I am with you to save you. Jeremiah 1, 19. 
treasured words of divine encouragement and guidance from the risen Lord Jesus Christ received in prayer to F.R. John Woolley, I Am With You Foundation.